if you take a thunderstorm or a sandstorm or a volcanic eruption, you're gonna have droplets, sand particles, volcanic ash within the airflow. These particles are constantly colliding with each other. And then as they collide, they naturally accumulate large electrostatic charges. So anytime you observe lightning, it's really from these collisions of the particles that cause these large charges to build up. But the question we want to ask is, what role does turbulence play in generating lightning? When you increase turbulence, would you get more lightning? When I was a physics student, I heard a lot of the stories about turbulence being the hardest problem in the classical mechanics. Turbulence means that the background flow is energetic, chaotic, unpredictable. You'd see thousands and thousands of mixing and swirling motions. Our hypothesis is that turbulence can cause these particles to move very rapidly and cause these charges to build up even faster. It's very easy to generate charges, but controlling charges is very challenging because it sometimes could work in synergy, but sometimes they could work against each other. In our lab space, the goal is really trying to quantitatively understand in what kind of scenario we can see the turbulence create this fantastic lightning effects that we can see in nature. One of the experimental facilities is a turbulence chamber with fans from eight different corners in order to generate a flow that is similar to what's happening in the thunderstorm. Above those fans, we drop particles or droplets, then they fall past a wire where they accumulate charge and then immediately enter the turbulence. And then I have a series of high-speed cameras to try to understand and model what exactly the electrostatic charges are doing. The hope is eventually we will generate lightning, but the underlying physics can be used for many different applications. And the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation provides important support for experimentalists working on interdisciplinary physics problems. I think the foundation support is critical in making sure that experimental discoveries can be continued this grant provides the equipment and resources to support students. They really are the ones that create the foundation of this work. Graduate school for me provided great opportunity to grow alongside great mentors. They have that passion and that curiosity and that drive to really to make a difference. The fact that the Moore Foundation is willing to fund this project, it's affirming that we're asking the right questions and that this problem is valuable and that it will make an impact and that will extend way beyond this lab.